Hello guys and very welcome to my channel and to this video. Today I am going to install my brand new Orion BMS to this high voltage battery that I have built from a Volkswagen ID3. But before I do that I of course have to create the harness itself to it. So here we go guys and as always very welcome. So here is my harness that I have created and I am so happy that this is done because it really took some hours here. So let's start with the power supply. This white end here will be connected to the BMS and then we have two connectors that will control the high voltage relays. One for the positive and one for the negative of course. And then we have a chassis ground and it's really important that this ground is the same ground that you use to supply your BMS with. It's more to read about that in the manual. Then we have the canvas cables. So CAN1 for programming and CAN2 for controlling my inverter or my microcomputer that will be connected to my inverter. Also, it depends on if I can find the CAN protocol for this uh, Solux inverter. Probably not, but I will try to do that. And here is the power supply for this BMS. And as you can see, I have two supplies here. So one is of course the main supply, and this will be connected to a transformer that will take power from the grid. And uh, if I have a power outage, there will actually be one second with blackout of grid power. And what happens then is that the, the BMS will probably release the relays and then I stand there without any backup power or EPS power. So what I have done is that I have soldered in a small uh, diode here so I don't charge this backup battery. So when I have this, uh, I don't know really how to explain this, but, but when the grid fails for one second there, this backup battery will supply my BMS here with backup power. And then when the grid is back, I will of course directly take power from the main supply again. So this is just something that I have uh, come up with uh, by myself, so I have to test that later on. But the idea is that this little battery here will only supply the BMS for one second and then just be standing there as a backup. All right, so that's the power cable or power harness. Let's move on with the balancing harness. Uh, here is a small adapter cable that I use between my uh, canvas cable and the computer, of course. Just that little cable here. So here is the big harness here. So I have all those connectors soldered into it. And uh, the other end here is, of course, going to be connected to the uh, BMS here. So <laughs> a lot of cables in here guys. Well, I also have the temp sensor cables here. So we have eight temp sensor that will go into this BMS. So I decided to create that 
into the same harness so we have a really tight and slim uh, system. So I have tried to do this to look like an, uh, some kind of OEM harness to it. So hopefully it will look nice when everything is in place inside of this battery. Alright guys, let's go out to the battery and install this. Alright guys, everything is now hooked up to the BMS here, so I will just turn on the power to the BMS and see if the main relays will be active there. So hopefully we will hear a loud click, or a click at least, and if everything is hooked up correct here, those main relays will stay on. You never know. Did you hear the relays? And they are still active? Nice! And now it's off. So now I just will go in and uh, get my computer and hook it up to the battery so we can take a look at all the cells at once this time. I have only checked the cells for uh, each and every module earlier so this should be really great to uh, take a look at. I will just turn on the power to the BMS and connect the CAN1 to the computer here. And I will now just connect 
to the BMS. And now we are connected. We can go in and take a look at the live cell data. And here are all the cells. We have a delta cell voltage at 13 millivolts there, so it's pretty good. And the, the highest temp sensor is 8 degrees and the lowest is 7 degrees. So here you can see the balancing status is active and those red cells here are actually going to be balanced right now. So we are taking energy from those cells so we can come down to those lowest cells that we have here. So let's go in and take a look at the live cell data and we can see that we have a deviation at only 3 millivolts here so that's absolutely fantastic. And uh, as you might remember we had uh, 13 millivolts when we started with this BMS. So uh, I was out here and checked uh, yesterday and after I think it was 20 hours. We went from 13 millivolts down to 5 millivolts and now we are down to 3 millivolts and even 2 millivolts sometime here, but that's just perfect guys. It's a great feeling to have this BMS hooked up to my battery so I have some kind of protection if something bad is going on. And the cells are now balanced as you could see there and the plan from here on is to have this BMS hooked up to a microcomputer and the microcomputer will then take control of my inverter. But that will be later on. A lot of programming has to be done there and I don't know anything about programming, but uh, probably I can learn. So that will be my next project to be some kind of a <laughs> programmer. I think it can be really good to have that kind of knowledge when when I am doing stuff like this. So Thank you so much for watching my videos guys and uh, I really hope that I see you next time. Take care and goodbye.